The James Webb Space Telescope is primarily an infrared telescope, which means it has to be kept as cold as possible. The shape of the sun shield helps it achieve and maintain those low temperatures. To find out just how engineers on the ground are making sure that each layer of the sun shield is built correctly, we are here at Mantec in Huntsville, Alabama. So Jason, this is the sun shield. What's so unique about its shape? In this one-tenth scale model, the sun shield from afar looks like a flat piece of material, but it actually has a doubly curved shape, which means it's almost a funnel towards the center of the telescope. What we're about to see is a full-scale layer and show you how we measure that shape. There are five layers. Is each layer the same? No, actually each layer is different. The layers are designed so that we get maximum heat rejection between each layer all the way up to layer five on top. So that way layer one will always be the hottest facing the sun and mm -hmm. layer five will be the coldest, mm -hmm. allowing the telescope to achieve operating temperature. So you mean the shape of each layer is different? Yes, actually it is. Hmm. Great. So we can go check it out now? Yes, we can. All right, great. Over here we actually have one layer deployed in a flight-like simulator mm -hmm. and it's tensioned to the loads that it will see on orbit. So like you said, it is not flat. No, it's not. You see it makes a funnel type shape towards the center of the, of the telescope. Where Daryl is standing, the telescope would be sitting right there in the center facing us. So what is he about to do? He's about to set up a laser scanner. Uh, we use this scanning system to measure the overall shape of the membrane. We actually do seven different scans in seven locations. Mm -hmm. Each scan, one 360 degree scan, creates about 407 million points. We combine those seven scans together to get enough points to build a solid 3D shape of the membrane to compare it to our analytical model. Thanks, Jason, for showing us just what you guys do to make sure the sun shield is built correctly. Thanks, Mary, for coming to see it. After testing here is completed, the layer will be prepared for integration with the rest of the sun shield. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Behind the Web.